Well, a new era dawns for Oklahoma County's criminal justice system. After an up and down battle last night as the votes came in, the district attorney's race finally swung in David Prater's favor. Fox 25's Britton Follett was there as Prater's supporters got the news. Voting out West Lane. <laughs> meant voting in a new face. As the final vote was counted. Wow. The final. 87,000 me, 86,000 him, 50 to 48. Yeah! Prater said he was surrounded by the faces behind the win. I stand tall today because I stand on the shoulders of so many of you. That's it. It's not me, it's you. Justice has been done and the right person won. Joan McCurdy's face first appeared in a West Lane campaign ad attacking David Prater. Two days before the election, McCurdy sat next to Prater to tell voters why she says West Lane's office lied to her. You may have won in the election. I might have. I did for David. Everybody in this room has won for David. One person not in the room, Brian Bates, the face behind the Vote Out West Lane campaign. 800 votes is razor thin as far as margins go. If we would have done anything different, we probably would have lost this race. Bates enjoyed the victory. When you have a man who's an incumbent, he's well liked, he's out earned you three to one in contributions, he can have TV cameras on him anytime he wants to, and he's touting a 94% conviction rate, and people say, so what, we want somebody different. Oh my God, you can't have a bigger runaway election than that. But he only celebrated one day. It's sort of, uh, you know, off with uh, one face and on with another. As the van gets a new face, so does the district attorney's office. Now the work starts. Yeah. 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 I am not full of false promises. I never have been. I never will be. Yeah. So tomorrow, I hit the ground running to rebuild this office. To rebuild the yeah. I think Prater knows, um, as with anybody in that office, we're all going to be watching. If he doesn't live up to his word, we'll be back here in four years. All gone. He'll be watching without the van. Bates donated it to a church. Britton Follett, Fox 25 News. A hard fought win. Well, we spoke with Wes Lane last night after the election. He says he doesn't know what's in store for his future. Today, Prater and Lane spoke over the phone. Prater says it was very positive, and the two plan to meet about the transition of the office Monday.